Hi guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back to the new lecture of Microsoft Project. So guys, in this particular lecture, I am going to introduce you how Microsoft Project works, what are the importance of the Microsoft Project software, why civil engineers refer the Microsoft Project and the Primavera like softwares for the construction planning purpose, scheduling and cost estimating. So guys, this overall series helps you to identify all the facts and figure in which you can able to do all planning or allocations of the resources, timeline management, report generation, cost estimation and all. So this course is for you. Before starting this particular lectures, I would like to ask you a few things that if you not yet subscribe my channel, so guys, please do subscribe my channel and watch the video till the end. So in this particular lecture, I'm only going to provide you overview of the this particular software and next lecture we will start with one project. So here you can see, first of all, at the top, you can see the all menus, but now it is hide. So you need to unhide the all the figures for that you can click it or you can just right click and click on the collapse the reason so uh, ribbon so all these things again fall down right now at the task whenever in construction whenever you are going to prepare a project task is really one of the important parameter in Microsoft project but before that you need to set up the calendar you need to set up the start date and finish date and you need to set up whether all tasks are going to work as auto schedule or manual schedule. Okay. If you don't know what is auto schedule and manual schedule, so don't worry about it. In coming lectures, I am going to provide all these details very properly. So now you can see this task refer to the activities. What kind of activities you are going to incur for your particular project. Now you can see here in this particular project, if I extend this uh, line above, so you can see in this particular project of the construct commercial construction, there is a general conditions are first before, come first, okay, before mobilization of the project, where we need to review the notice, okay, we need to submit the bond, prepare the submit project schedule, obtain the billing permit and shop drawings and all. After that, when we done with general conditions, we need to go for the long lead procurement, like submit the shop drawings, okay, for elevator, roofing, electric, HVAC and all. When we done all these things, then we start the procuring the installation of the power, water services, site offices, okay, the machineries and all on our side. After that, we start to doing the grading and utilities of the site by doing all the work. Okay, then after that, we'll try to provide the foundation. After foundation, we will try to do the erection of the steel, then form providement, then carpentry work, masonry work, then roofing work, window and wall work, building finishes, elevator, plumbing, electrical, heating, ventilation, final cleanup and complete final inspection. Okay, so you can see guys this much amount of the activities which is the main activities we need to encode for our project. But did you find something interesting in that? Now you can see these all are the main tasks. Okay, so called as a main WBS work breakdown structure. Okay, and there okay the rest work breakdown structure which is related to this particular main task which has come under the task. Okay, so to see the work breakdown structure, what you have to do, you need to insert the column. So click select here, right click and insert a column and type WBS. Okay, so you can see the WBS, overall WBS, predecessor WBS and the successor WBS. But we want only WBS. So you can see the WBS over here as a 5. If I extend it, you can see the WBS is come under like this in point format point 5.1 5.2 so due to this what exactly what is the importance of this particular wbs functionality wbs functionality helps you to identify what is amount of the resources include or uh, generated or required for this particular task and with respect to that you can identify how much amount of cost you are going to incur for each and every individual activity so 
when you apply the activity or cost for all this particular scenario you will get a final cost for this foundation right so this is what exactly the importance of the wbs also wbs helps okay for the different kind of works that we are going to cover in our coming lectures okay now after that in project management duration and cost is one of the very important parameter without that you cannot create any sort of project so here whenever you are going to create the uh, what we can say the project your project should be auto auto schedule auto schedule means what auto schedule means as you provide the duration okay and the provide the predecessor and successor i can show you over here like predecessor this particular date is automatically reflect you no need to select the date manually that we are not going to set our functionality manually our project will auto calculated based upon the linkage if you done the process or the overall project manual manual schedule it means that there is no any linkage whether the, there will be in linkage but that linkage is only for the you know cross correction only okay there is no any further uh, extra requirement for the or extra utilization of the particular linkages so basically your project should be properly auto schedule after that the predecessor and predecessor is really very important thing okay if you don't know the predecessor because the one of the 50% of the major works for the project management is only based upon the linkage of the activities if you don't know the what is the activity linkage you can't work in the project management professionalism okay so that is one of the one of the basic uh, object basic you know basic uh, point in the project management after that when you when you uh, type all kind of the tasks and the wbs duration and predecessor okay you can see this all this scenario can be reflect like this in a detailed timeline manner this particular detailed timeline manner helps you to identify like what is you can you can see this long lead procurement you can see it start from here and end will here which incurred this amount of activities okay so in this particular months we are going to incur this much activities okay in next month we are going to incur the rest of the activities okay so this kind of the work is allocated over here okay so you can see this particular timeline in detail you can see this particular timeline in other manner also now let's go to the resources but before that i would like to define you something more interesting which is a gan chart okay gan chart is very important portion when we are looking for the you know when we are uh, doing the project management work because gan chart reflect you the activity links you can see the start to start finish to finish start to finish like this if you want to change you can just click over here you can see the task dependency is defined over here finish to start start to start start to finish which we can also provide in the uh, with the help of the predecessor only but here also you can provide with respect to lag if if your task sleep or if your task getting delay or getting started earlier so you can update that particular scenario here also now we can see guys there is one more thing that if i want to see the critical task of my project okay and that is very important portion of my you know uh, project management so what i can do i click on this critical task and you can see this particular red line reflect me these are the my critical portions and trust me guys this critical line will be need to be uh, defined the longer time okay uh, like it define the longer time for your project what how much amount of the uh, time is going to incur for that and what are the major tasks okay so with respect to that only you can see you can identify the particular scenario after that uh, here you can see if you click right click over here you can see the network diagram of this particular scenario also okay after that you can see the task form okay you can see the task sheet okay how many task sheet okay what is wbs how many duration how many what is the predecessor and what are the resources you are going to use for this particular work after that you can see the task uses as on date you can see there is a no any task uses we have because we already allocated all work we allocated all hours 
duration and we define with respect to the calendar the people going to work for this activities okay after that you can see the timeline overall timeline over here after that you can see the tracking gantt that we have prepared with respect to the percentage okay then you can see the resource form okay how many resources they are going to work for how many activity time right after that resource graph also you can see like how many are over allocated and how many are allocated right after that you can see the resource sheet their cost you can allocate their cost right after that resource usage okay then team planner you can see like what the person going to work for what particular work and also you can generate the reports like the uh, uh, pro critical task you can see if i click on critical task so there will be the report like this like what are the main critical task how many percentage work and all okay after that you can see the cost overrun like how much extra cost that you are going to overrun for the project then you can see the earned value report okay where the estimate to complete the actual variance budgeted cost and budgeted variance then you can see the task total cost overview like how we are going to incur the cost for a longer period of time then you can see the over allocated resources okay the allocated resources then also you can see the dashboard for the project overview like what is the percentage and all those things then you can see the reports if you want to generate like that you can generate you can see the slippage task but as on this there is no any slippage task that was also per uh, work you can do over here okay so guys for today only i am going to stop over here in coming lectures i will provide you the step by step lectures for this particular project management professional okay of microsoft project so guys if you don't yet subscribe my channel so please subscribe okay this is a introduction video and coming video are very interesting thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye